So chapter 34 is on the nervous system, and the nervous system is one of the systems we have in our body, and it is and signals to the rest of our body. So it's like the, some people say it's like the electrical wiring that we have in our body. So this will make more sense as we go along. So when we look at the nervous system, there are two categories. It's broken up into two sections. There we have the central nervous system and we have the peripheral nervous system. And all you really need to know is that the central nervous system is made up of the orange part, so the brain and spinal cord. Okay, so brain and spinal cord. Where the, whereas the peripheral nervous system, it has lots of different branches and it goes all out, you know, it goes towards the arms, it goes towards the legs, it goes everywhere. So central nervous system is made up of the brain and spinal cord. Peripheral nervous system are all nerves that kind of extend outward from the brain and extend outward from the spinal cord. And actually, if I go back, um, think about the last time you caught your fingers in a car door or you caught your fingers on a, uh, in a desk drawer. What happens is you felt pain and you quickly pulled your finger out of the drawer or out of the car door. So how did that happen? Well, what happened was when your finger was stuck, there was a pain receptor on your finger and it, the pain receptor on your finger, it went up all the way to the brain and spinal cord and it told the brain that, you know, I'm, my finger got stuck and I'm hurt. And then the brain sends the signal back down to the finger and tells the finger, to come out, you know, to pull your finger out of the desk drawer or to pull your finger out of the car door. So this is how this ner the uh, nervous system kind of works. It basically sends signals. So if your finger got stuck, the message is going to go to the brain. The brain is going to process that message that you're hurt and the brain is going to send another message down and tell the finger to pull out. Okay. So when we look at the nervous system, um, this is a picture of the central nervous system because we see the brain and we see the spinal cord. And then everything that extends out of the brain and out of the spinal cord, such as your cranial nerves and spinal nerves, those are all part of the peripheral nervous system. So central nervous system is just the brain and spinal cord. Everything that comes out of the brain or everything that stems out of the spinal cord, they are your peripheral nervous system, such as your cranial nerves, spinal nerves. This is your brain right over here. If you look at it from the inferior, so if you flip your brain out and you look on the, you know, inside view of the brain, we're going to see some nerves sticking out. And these nerves are really important. You can see there are 12 cranial nerves. So these are actually cranial nerves. And um, I want you guys to know these cranial nerves, and I'll go over some tricks and tips of how you can remember these. But these are cranial nerves, and um, they, they do many different things. So they all have different functions, and we're going to look at Here's another picture of um, what happens. So let's say your, your finger, you prick something like a cactus tree or a cactus plant. Obviously that hurts. So we ha in our finger, we have receptors. We have sensory receptors. So sensory means that you feel it, or you, you sense it rather, sorry. So you sensed it and the message is being sent down to the central nervous system. Remember your brain and spinal cord? This is like a cross section of your spinal cord. So the message is being sent down here and it's telling the brain and spinal cord that, you know, I got pricked, I'm, I'm in pain. And then what happens is the message then gets, so from the brain and spinal cord, the message then gets relayed to the finger and it tells the finger, come out, pull, you know, pull your finger out from this uh, stimuli. And it does so. So it's actually a message that's been sent here. It processes it over here in the central nervous system and then the message goes to the finger and it tells the finger to come out. So the reason why I want to show you this picture is when we're looking at the spinal cord, you can see that there's like a butterfly shape, which is like the pink that you see here. It's actually known as gray matter. So gray matter is basically the part where like you see all like the um, cell bodies of the neuron. Well, you can see all those in the um, gray matter. The white matter is the ones on the outside and the gray matter is the one on the inside. Another thing to note over here is that when we're looking at the sensory neuron, so sensory neuron is this red one right over here, and the reason why it's called a sensory neuron is because it sensed that this, there's pain. So when you sense something such as pain, the message gets sent through the sensory neuron. 
The sensory neuron sometimes is also um, known as the dorsal root ganglion, so it comes through this area here, which is where the dorsal root is. And then the, the next one over here, so when the message gets processed, when the pain message gets processed within the brain and spinal cord, then it sends a message to the finger to tell the finger to, you know, release your hand to street. This neuron is known as your motor neuron. So motor means movement. Motor means you, this is where you're telling the finger to move. And so your motor neuron is the one that tells you to move. It's the one that contracts the muscle to tell the finger or arm to move. It also comes from like this area over here, which is known as your ventral root. Okay, so sensory neuron and dorsal root, they go together. Motor neuron and ventral root, they go together. So another thing that I want to point out is the neurons and nerves overview. So um, this is your brain. This is your finger, let's just say. The brain sends a message. Or sorry, let's go back. Um, let me review that. The um, skin. So let's say... Uh, your finger got caught or your you know your finger or your hand or skin got burnt see how the arrow is being pointed this way to the CNS CNS stands for central nervous system so the message that you got burnt or that you got hurt from you know the skin is the receptor is sending a message to the brain which is known as your sensory nerve is also known as your afferent nerve and um, I'm going to tell you a trick notice that afferent starts with a so this is the first nerve or first neuron that gets affected. So the first thing that happens is the sensory or afferent nerve gets affected where the finger or skin sends the message to the brain to say that I'm hurt or I'm burnt. Then the brain sends the message to the muscle of the hand or of the finger to tell it to move, to tell the finger to you know release itself from the cactus tree or to tell the finger to, uh, you know, remove your finger from the uh, hot oven, for example. So um, motor nerve starts, is an, also known as the efferent nerve, and see how it starts with an E, so it comes later on in the alphabet, so that's your second nerve, right? Sensory starts with an A, so that's your first nerve that gets affected.